What's up everybody, BB here, and I am mother fucking relentless bitches. Recognise! Um, <laughs> apologies for such an aggressive and yet somewhat enthusiastic intro. But yes, I have achieved what I deem to be the most impossible thing in Black Ops 2. No, it's not finding a stable connection for more than two games. It's actually getting a relentless medal in Team Deathmatch. That's 20 kills without dying. Now, I know some people will watch this video and go, well, that's no mean feat, you know, I hit 30 and 0 every game. It's alright for you, Mr. Skills, to pay the bills, but when there's someone like me whose gameplay is mediocre at best, getting 20 kills without dying is a really big achievement. Anyway, that was the last challenge I needed to do with regards to all the TDM challenges, so now I am a TDM master. I am now in the proud possession of that little calling card background with the sensei on there stroking his beard, as if to say, most honourable battle! Now, not only has this calling card background been the source of inspiration behind my Bad Pie May impressions as I've been walking around the house, but the achievement of getting a Relentless medal really has sparked this question. Is getting your high-end kill streaks and score streaks really down to skill at the end of the day, or is it down to luck? Now, if we're talking about skill, we have to look at the individual here, because what they do reflects on how well they're going to do in the game. So look at my class for instance, it's got Ghost and Lightweight on, Toughness and Dead Silence, I'm running a PDW, one of the strongest submachine guns in the game in my opinion, with a suppressor and quick draw on. Now it's not my usual style because normally I just go in there guns blazing and see what happens, but after looking online, on YouTube, on forums, things like that, it seems to be the only way to go, and at the end of the day you can argue with methods, but you can't argue with results. And obviously in this gameplay, as you'll see, I do get my relentless medal, so, you know, changing your class now and then, it does really work out for you sometimes. Another thing to consider is how they move around the map. Now you'll see in my gameplay, yes I'm quite aggressive at times, but I'm not straight in there guns blazing, you know, I'm quite reserved, I'll wait for someone to pass by me, or I'll wait until I know the enemy's gone and then I'll move on, and I won't get into a firefight I can't win over a long distance. So moral of the story, always try and flank the enemy or take them out from behind, because they can't do anything about it, there's not enough time to react. Don't do what I normally do, and just charge straight at someone, and try and thrust your weapon in someone's face, because just like every other girl in my life, you'll always get shot down. And I'm not just talking emotionally here, like physically they will put bullets in you. The final thing to take into account is mindset. Now I know what you're thinking, what's that got to do with skill? But if you think about it, if you're getting massively frustrated, you're going to play a lot worse than you would do if you're just having fun. You know, this game here, this was after a three hour stint of just getting dicked over something royal by shotguns, like KSG here, 870 there, and I was proper ticked off, hence why I was playing quite aggressively. However, entering this red mist mode doesn't work out well for anyone. For instance, if you take my gameplay, there are times where I'm literally on last stand on a sliver of health and I win the fight just by the skin of my teeth. It should never get to that situation, I should be thinking things through. There are other times as well where you see me do a cheeky drop shot. Now I'm totally aware there's nothing cheeky about it, it's more douchey than anything. But, because I'm aware of what I'm doing at that time and I'm not so angry and frustrated, I can take advantage of the fact that I know what the enemies can and can't do, so things work out a lot better for me. Now, for all the skill in the world, a lot of it is down to luck as well. I mean, you look at the opponents in this game. I'm not saying they're absolutely horrible, but they're hardly the best in the world. And you have to take advantage of that sometimes, unfortunately. Well, I say unfortunately, I got my Relentless Medal, so pfft, sucks to be you. But I imagine a lot of you, if not everyone, knows exactly what I'm talking about. On one end of the scale, you've got those lobbies. You know the ones you just walk into them, and after three seconds you go... Oh my god, it's open season. Let's go hunting. But on the other end, you've got those lobbies full of two people. Shotgun spammers or friggin' SVU spammers. Dear lord, people, if it takes more than one shot, you are not using a sniper rifle right. Or it could be Black Ops 2, and you know what the hit detection is like on that. I tell you now, a DSG from point blank in the chest does not require a hit marker. Now, if you're talking about luck, you've also got to talk about the spawning system, because frankly, that needs to be on your side as well. How many times have you been one away from a Relentless Medal, or one away from Dogs, or Swarm, or a VSAT, things like that, or a VTOL, 
and someone will suddenly spawn behind you, even though they shouldn't be there in the first place because the spawns at the other end of the boat on hijacked or whatever. And he comes running up with an 870 shotgun, fires one round, and next thing you know, you're picking up your ears three maps down the line in the future because he's blown them clean off. The final thing to consider if we're talking about luck is connection, because let's face it, if you've got a good lobby and a good connection, you're always going to do better. Now, I've tried recording this argument at least seven times, and frankly, every single time, I just sound like a moany 12-year-old who says he can't go positive in a game of TDM, but frankly, the problem lies with his internet because it's not on fiber optic, it's actually powered by hamsters. Anyway, I've said what I needed to say, it's over to you. So what do you think in the comments? Is it down to being pro MLG or is it down to the gaming gods looking down on you? Either way, I better wrap up this video. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Don't forget to drop a like, save to your faves and even consider hitting that subscribe button. Much appreciated. Don't forget to keep up the GG's and I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Oh, one more thing before you all disappear. If you have a look in the bottom right corner of the video, you'll find a link to my Walking Dead LP. Thanks to the witchcraft of YouTube's in-video marketing doodad. Anyway, click on that. You decide how my story pans out. 